what is the largest empire in history by land? Dude, dude. Come on, uh, come on. British. Correct. So yeah, because the they owned like eighty percent of the world at one point. Okay, not not that not that bad, not that much. <laughs> but yes, they they were the largest empire in history. Um, do you know a famous phrase about that they said about the British Empire? A famous phrase about the sun that I personally love. About the sun? Yes, it's it's a it's it's a comment. It's a quote about the sun that is related to the British Empire. It's not praise the sun, is it? No, 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 no. No, I think that's from. Uh, so a video maybe game. you don't know the 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 the, no. quote, the, the quote is. The sun never set on the British Empire. Ah, uh, yeah, I have heard that. That's a that's I a pretty heard, badass yeah. quote. Uh, I'm yeah. not condoning empires and people being subject. Sorry, I'm just saying it's a very badass way to like, wow, like so wherever the sun was shining or rising, the idea is that yeah. the British Empire was there. Um, it's kind of this is kind of related to when we talked about you asked about France, why I like France so much. It's kind of related to me being interested in in like the sheer power of the British Empire. Um, I was very interested in learning about that too, but uh, yeah. So I, okay, you got you got yeah you got like um, five out of six, right? And no. now I'm I'm actually not sure about this. You would probably know more about this. The British Empire, yes, was the last one that they I guess gave back or let go of. Was that Hong Kong in like 2000? Because that was under um, British rule, wasn't it? 1996. Or seven, I can't remember. Um, was it technically? No, I it thought it was be... like 1999 or 2000. No, it was like 1990. I can look it up right now. Hong Kong handover. It was uh, 1997. Okay, that was right. And actually, the funny thing is, Prince Charles went to that event to like hand over Hong Kong to the Chinese. Hmm. Like, or no, sorry, now King Charles. Um, but yes, oh, yeah. um, I mean, it could be the last one. I don't, I don't know. But yes, Hong Kong was probably the one of the most like televised ones, and it was like quite famous and well known. Uh, the Hanover. What what was the date? Let me see. July first. Hmm, interesting. I thought I yes. thought I was in high school for that. Nineteen ninety seven. How old would you be then? Middle school. I wasn't in high school. No, I was in middle school. But I thought I. So oh, okay, okay. Here's thought... something interesting. I was too young at that point. I was like eight, so wouldn't wouldn't remember that. Was that yeah, like a I thing was, in middle school? I think school? it was thirty-five. Thirty-five. <laughs> yeah. Was that was Those that a the thing best in 10 was, years of life? Was that a no, thing in uh, middle school? Were they like, oh, they talked about it to you guys? No, I. That's I. Or you just no? I was in that? high school. I was in high school, and my my teacher oh. told us about it. Maybe he was just talking about how it just happened. I guess. I don't know. It was a history class, Mr. Gregor Rush. Oh, interesting. So, so, he, so he was saying that as like a this is quite a monumental thing. Yeah, and, I think he was hmm. like talking about, like just oh, do you guys remember when this happened? I guess it had to have been that because hmm. I I thought no, he was eighth grade. Who was my you know you know the teacher? the funny thing was um, I believe the the British signed a signed an agreement with the Chinese government and. Well, Chinese at that time, um, mm -hmm. they said something like, "We get to lease or not lease." I think maybe it was lease. We own the land for ninety nine years, and then the Chinese were like, "Yeah, sure, we'll, we have to sign the deal, right? We're losing. We lost the war against you guys, so they signed the deal." And then, ironically, it's like nineteen ninety seven, and it's like, "Okay, time to give it back." And the British are like, "Well, we kind of have to, right? It's part of the deal." So, um, he, another random interesting thing. Um, this is something that's kind of like I try to get away from in my topics. It's involving China because I used to live there. Not a great time, anyway. But interesting thing was in China, you actually never own the land, right? Land or your property, because it's communist. Ah, right? uh, okay. so the state owns everything. But the funny thing was, I knew I, I I knew parents and I taught their kids that were, they were like wealthy, and they told me that, yes, me myself, I own the land and house for ninety nine years. Isn't that interesting? They How used the ninety nine years. Yeah. That they probably learned from the British. They got pissed off. So they used it for themselves. They use it. They they have the ninety nine years thing. But 
it was so my 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 friend said she can she can give the title of the land or house to her daughter and then the daughter owns it for 99 years oh no this is another poiaya scheme <laughs> yeah yeah was this, was, this kinda, was this man's name gregor mcgregor <laughs> His name was she she McGregor. Yeah. She, she, McGregor. she <laughs> but that's she. but that's the but that's the point of China being capitalist communist now. Basically, you still own the land. Anyway, um, maybe down, down, down the line, I'll do something about China. Um, and my time there.